What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here with another review, this time on another classic cold steel. Um, and it, today we're bringing you the Code 4. Code 4 by Cold Steel. Uh, this one here is S35VN. And it has a three and a half inch blade length. The handle is five inches for an overall eight and a half inches long. And it has a 60, 60 aluminum handle and the triad lock, like most cold steels. So this little, even though it's slim, it's still strong. It's still a strong, uh, slender knife, you know. Good. This one to me is like, uh, like they would say, a, a gentleman's knife. You know, it's kind of a fancier knife in my opinion. I like it. It does look nice. Um, again, I personally... I mean, I know most people, you know, most, most people I see, even reviewers and content creators are like all about lighter, the better, the slender, the ones you can't feel in your pocket, this and that. But I like a little more beef to my knife. I don't mind it. To me, it doesn't bother me at all to have a little bit of weight. I mean, nothing's going to pull down your pants, but something with a little more girth, something a little heavier, uh, a little more uh, beefy, you know. Um, I like just something a little bit with a little bit more uh, meat on it. Um, this one's still nice. I still like it. Cold steel is cold steel, you know. So this, I'm sure this wouldn't, wouldn't fail you. This is nice. Um, the aluminum handles are pretty smooth. It is a pretty smooth handle. So, you know, if it gets wet or, you know, if you're field dressing an animal and you get blood on it, it could be slippery, you know. It'll probably slide out of your hand. Um, but all in all, I mean, if you put it in your hand or hold it in your hand, it feels comfortable in the hand. It does feel really comfortable in the hand. I'll give it, I'll give them that. I don't feel any hot spots on here. It feels, it feels nice, you know, with that triad, uh, with that triad lock, even, you know, holding it, he doesn't push in at all, you know, it's kind of a deliberate push down. And I mean, it's it's definitely a, a, a beautiful knife. I mean, it's really, really pretty. This one here is a little bit, I think, cause it's lighter. It's only a three and a, a 3.5 millimeter thickness. So I think that's what makes it a little bit hard to fling out. I mean, you can fling it out, but it's a little bit harder to fling out. Um, you know, I gotta be a little more deliberate with it or just manually open it with your thumb the thumb, thumb stud it does look like it's a little bit more on the right side so this is meant for right i mean you could always screw these out of here and put it on the other side but it's more right hand dominant you know um just straight aluminum liners nothing in there all the way through or, i'm sorry not aluminum liners, just straight aluminum uh frame not no liners and uh of course the standard uh pocket clip for cold steel that they use um this one is not as bad as the other ones. The pocket clip, I, I commit that because it's, uh, this one here, since it's aluminum, it's smooth. It's not, it doesn't have any G10 or grippy G10 like the rest of them have. It, you don't have to bend them or, or modify the clip at all. It's, it, so far, I haven't had any issues putting this in, in and out of uh, my pocket with uh, putting it, you know, uh, into my pants, you know, anything like that, like the other ones have. It's a little bit easier. Um, but again, for a comparison, I got the, I got here the, the SR1 light by Cold Steel. And just to show you how thin this one is compared to that, this one's a tank, <laughs> super thick, um, beefy. We're talking beefy. Let's see, Mr. Beefy. So and you can see the blade thickness on those and compared to that and this one. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's a bigger knife all the way around, but yeah, to be honest, for me, for me, I know most people would prefer something like this or smaller even. But I like carrying this one. And this one, I mean, eventually I probably will get the the nicer version of this. But tell you the truth, I even like having this this forty dollar version because I mean, I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna beat it. This is my this is my daily carry EDC. I don't care if I jack it up, scratch it, goes dull, I'll throw another edge on it again. It still has the better. Uh, this is you know the older one was the eight uh, CR four uh, thirteen MOV. This is the fourteen MOV. So it's a little bit better still. And I've been using this and beating how to cutting stuff with it boxes and and i have had no issues at all with this and what i like about this is compared to like the the, the code four i mean this one is just so easy to fling out i mean you can do it with your thumb or you can just straight fling it with your hand i mean uh don't have to use the, don't have to use a thumb stud just straight fling it open reverse i mean it just i mean it snaps in with authority i mean i, I mean i love this one i mean this one here i mean it's just straight straight out i mean straight out snap in i mean you don't even need uh, the, the wave feature, the Andrew Difficult wave feature for this. I mean, you pull it out of your pocket and it's just ready to roll. I mean, it's 
it's faster. It's almost just as fast, but not faster with that. I mean, this thing, I think because the blade is so heavy, and I, I love this knife. I mean, there's there's no, I mean, even if you even if you almost miss, it still flings it open. I mean, it's it's amazing how fast this, this thing is and how, uh, you know, how quickly you can deploy this blade. And then you got one thick, I mean, you could stab this through a freaking car door or <laughs> whatever you need to stab it through. I mean, this would penetrate pretty much anything really. Um, you know, and like I said, I'm really thinking of getting the SR1, just the standard SR1, not the light. But the review is on the Code 4, so I'm not going to go too much more into that one. But I just wanted to show you, this one being so light, it's a little, I mean, you can still do those things, but it's a little bit more of a, you got to do a little bit more deliberate with it. It's not as easy. I mean, you got to put some effort to fling it out, you know? And again, yes, I know there is a pivot screw you can back out, throw oil. You can take it apart, polish all the insides and make it to where it's super smooth. But I'm talking out of the box. We're talking what Cole still gives you, right? Um, you know, I'm not going to go through all that. And then plus two, when you back out the pivot screw, there's other issues you can have it backing out even further. You know, I mean, I'm not going to go on to whatever, all that could happen. But, you know, um, it, I like it. I do like this one. I do like it. But for an everyday carry, for all that, I prefer the SR1. Um, but this one is nice, you know, and it's awesome to have the, the collection. Um, again, it's beautiful, beautiful knife. Another, another cold steel greatness. Um, another one you can't go wrong with. If you want this one, you can't go wrong with this. That S35 VN and the, they have it also, they have this, I got the Tanto, but they also have the clip point and, uh, uh, both, both options would be great. I decided to go with the Tanto because I usually don't have I don't have any Tanto blades. I'm not really into Tantos too much. I'm getting more into them now. I'm getting more into them. I did order the SR1 Lite uh, Tanto next to get because I love the I love the SR1 this one here so much. I wanted the the, the Tanto version. So and I, I'm getting to like them now. You know I actually I actually starting to like the Tanto look. You know and actually the the functionality of it. You know and how you can do the push cuts and you know things that you, you can do more. And you can use this right here as an edge as well, which I, you know works really well for cutting stuff and. Um, you know, and then of course, you know, it gives you more, the thickness gives you more, uh, strength in the tip, the tip thickness gives you more strength for piercing. Um, yeah, so that's why I went with this one. Like I said, I, I can't wait to get the SR1 Lite in with Tanto. And then, uh, I'll do a review on that one next and we'll compare them to the, the other clip point version. But all right, YouTube, uh, please like, and subscribe and until next knife.